you guys good morning so um, I have a dream that I need to tell you about and then I also need to first I need to um, read um, Micah 5 12 through 15 um, this is for the Jesuits and Masons the dark army that work for the Pope the um, King Serpent and they are sorcerers and they do do magic to um, smooth talk they're in all of our churches too but they do magic and sorcery to um, put the um, people to sleep so that the king serpent can take a bite out of them. That's what he told me, and my dream goes along with it. But this is the message he has to them. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. There's soothsayers in the church buildings. They gr thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, they have statues all over the world, all over the earth. Um, these statues are of men and not of God. They don't have the spirit in them. They are men who exalt themselves and think that they are gods, which in, in some way we have the, we're lamps on earth, and, um, but Jesus was the light. And if you don't have Jesus, you're not a lit lamp. You're um, empty without a spirit. Jesus said, live by faith and not by sight, live by the spirit. These men li live by their flesh and whatever they want. They do as they thou wilt. And they put themselves on TV in front of people's eyes to get in your brain to make you follow them and worship them. And these are politicians, um, uh, movie people, and everybody. The God's kings and priests are the body of Christ on earth. We are many, many people. We are many people all over the earth. We are his kings and priests. And no one else is supposed to lord over us. That is a false way. Jesus showed how to live. And that these men do not live like Jesus. They live like the devil, like the beast that um, God is going to judge. Um, or he's already judged because he's antichrist. He's against Jesus. <clears throat> Thy graven image also will I cut off, and thy standing image is out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. These are the builders that reject um, Jesus. These are the masons, builders that build the cities, and they are Greece and uh, Egypt and Rome um, and also Islamic. They're all the same, and they're also Kabbalists, um, but they are not at peace with God because they don't have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They have a false way. And I will pluck up the groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. They have the Bohemian Grove. Look it up. The Bohemian Grove is where these men meet. They are fraternities and sororities of the campuses, the colleges, and the Jesuit um, schools, and the St. James schools. They are, they are taught to follow another way. But God says, I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. They do wicked sorcery in the groves, wickedness, to serve their fallen angel gods, fallen, fallen cherub and the fallen angels. I will destroy thy cities, and I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. And that's really nations that disobeyed him. But God's people are not appointed to wrath. God's people are appointed to peace. We're at peace with God. They're not at peace with God. They're really atheists, the Pope and all of his army. But they're prancing around and making people think they're God. And they're the soothsayers. They soothe the people. They put them to sleep so the people don't seek God um, in their own lives. So they don't seek his presence in their own lives. <laughs> Um, many of these people are serpents that are able to be saved because they just need to repent. But many of them will not repent, it says in the word of God. These merchants and kings are the merchants and kings of revelation. And God is bringing a warning to them of fire like Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, the other thing that God wanted me to share with the brethren, this is for the brethren. Um, I had a dream, and it was that we were getting ready to leave in a um, big van. And there was a bunch of brothers and sisters in the van. And there was this house with, like, several different stores, stories. Like, there was a upstairs and a downstairs, and it was all made of glass. And um, um, I was, and we were telling everyone, it's time to go. And we were really kind of, you know, at peace that it was time to go. We weren't, like, rushing or anything. Um, but then all of a sudden these big huge um, the, the, it was right on the beach and the, it was on the on the sand on the beach and the beach um, was right 
at the door almost of the house. And the, um, the, um, the shipment came, the shipment came and it was put right down in front of this glass house. And the shipment was of these big, um, you know, like the BART has these big containers, they're big metal containers. They, they landed on the, on the beach right in front of the house. And I went, oh, no, it's time to go. Okay, everybody, we got to get in the van. So as we were getting in the van, I noticed there was a bunch of people in the house still. And there was people um, on the beach and people all around. And I felt my heart, my compassion for them just welled up within me. And I wanted to go tell them, it's time to go. You need to get ready and get to get going. And so I, um, I was um, – I, I was – kept the door to the van open and I'm like we, we can get more people on the on in the van and the van started rolling down this hill where the house was and I got out and I said I'm gonna go help him because as we were looking we were in the van and we were looking and the um, container had a crack as if something had escaped from the container it was cracked open and all of a sudden I went, oh, no, the people in the house, there's families in the house and they're like they're having dinner and they're partying and they don't even know what's going on. And so I went to the house around the house. And as I was going, I noticed there is a uh, or I got out of the van first. Sorry. And I walked backwards and um, was looking for these people telling them it's time to go. And then all of a sudden I noticed and I felt something was watching me. And I looked behind this car and I could see something watching me. And as I was, I, I was like, oh, no, they, they're out, they're, they're looking. And I started um, walking towards the van, but the van wasn't there anymore. And I'm like, oh, crud. Um, so I uh, start walking slower, and then I notice it's a big, huge wolf, massive wolf. And I grab, like, a stick or something, and it comes at me, and I, and I poke it. And then I um, go back around, and it goes away. And then I go around the house, and I notice there's, like, more wolves in the house. I can see in the house, and there's a little child in the back room, and there's a wolf getting ready to pounce the child. And I knock on the door, and they open the door. I go, your child is about ready to be eaten by a wolf. You need to go watch your children. And so I run in the back room with this woman, and the, and the people start running in the back room. And we open the door, and there's this wolf ready to bite the child. And I'm like, no. And I fight the wolf off, and um, he starts biting me. And I run out of the room, and I'm telling everyone, you need to watch your children. You need to get, you know, you need to be careful. Um, the wolves are out. You need to go. It's time to go. And then I went to go out of the house, and all these wolves had surrounded the house. And I'm like, oh, no. And then I woke up. And then I'm like, I always talk to God as soon as I wake up. And I pray to him and, and, go, and talk to him and just think about him. And his word comes to me or music comes to me, you know, singing. Um, not like some people like have heavenly, you know, open visions. I can hear the sounds of songs that I had sang before, like they're in my memory. Or it, it's almost like heaven you know, sing, singing in heaven, but it's not really like some people have those other visions. So anyways, I, um, so I go, God, Father God, I go, um, why didn't I call for Jesus in my dream? Because Jesus could have taken care of all of those lion or those uh, wolves. Why didn't I call for him in my dream? And instantly I went back to sleep. Like he put me out cold. I was in the middle of talking to him. Next thing you know, I'm out cold. And then I'm there, back in the same place, and all of a sudden, uh, Jesus is right behind me, this big lion, big old lion. He starts grabbing the, the wolves by the neck and throwing them far away, like th tossing them like they were little rag dolls. And next thing you know, he's doing it again, tossing more. He's tossing more. And they're just getting demolished by Jesus. But they're everywhere. There are wolves everywhere. And I'm going, Jesus, I need to be a lion too so I can help you. Next thing you know, I turn into a lioness and I start helping them. And then I wake up. And I, I know because... God, I, I not only gives me, um, but through the scriptures, he gives me um, the dr what the dreams mean, but also he gives me other people's dreams through the scriptures. So I can 
um, I understand. I have understanding of what the dreams mean, and I and he leads me to the scriptures. But I already know where they are because I've been reading the Bible for forty five years, so it's in my heart. You know, he's in my heart. Um, and so he told me that the thorns, the thorns that we are to uh, that we're to get rid of, the thorns are like the thorns on his head. These are the um, enemy on earth. They are liars and, and, and sorcerers, and um, they're the, the kings of the earth, the, the um, merchant men, which are making God's people profit, making profit out of God's people. And they're even in the churches, in the po po politicians. They're everywhere. They're in everything, education. And they put people to sleep. And they're thorns on our heads. They put everyone in, in slavery. Just look at your dollar bill. You'll see a big pyramid. It's slavery. The most, um, but he says that the watchmen, the watchmen on the wall are talking to them and telling them, you're going to, your punishment is coming. God is going to, to set it all on fire. Everything that, all you, the things you've built and make, and my people will be saved by me. Basically, Jesus comes and he rescues his bride and he destroys the enemy. So I'm going to, he just moved my eye to this scripture. Um, because woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. We don't inhabit the earth. We, had, our habitation is on the most high, on the rock, on Jesus. But he says, um, I'll have to do another one because my time's about up. God bless you all. I'm praying the blood of Christ over all of this.